all right guys so i am doing this video uh actually at night instead of in the morning this time because i wanted to make sure my clarity is there i want to make sure i have my focus and i want to also make sure i did not forget this topic so preliminary commissions posted right everybody was able to see what they what they uh preliminary checks were for the month of june um and like i tell you guys every month if you're not happy with what the what, what it was guess what we put more effort in if you were happy with what it was guess what we put more effort in now to double it so you have to look at exactly what you accomplished um what it what your commission was and say from there okay did i do what was necessary to earn that commission because me personally i was someone that was working for someone and my paycheck was not matching my efforts at all i felt like i was worth way more even though i was making like 1850 an hour I felt like I was supposed to be making more. And when I got with this business and I was making like a thousand plus a week in um, cash on the spot and things from people wanting to try to wrap some things, um, I felt my worth. So from there, then I started working up with the business and doing it still part time while I was working full time. And um, my income the following month, yeah, it took 13 months. So in 13 months, I was able to double the income I was making working for somebody. And then the following year, I finally was able to say bye bye when they was like, uh, Carissa, you just don't seem like you want to be here anymore. You're just like, eh, I am like, eh, because I didn't want to be there. So, you know, I was able to, you know, put the deuces up and go. So I'm telling you guys this to tell you to know your worth. You're worth a whole lot more, so why not put 100% into you and something that you can make a legacy from um, to gain so much from more than working for someone else, giving them 100% of yourself, and then you get home and you have 0% left to give towards something that can possibly be your primary income source that can allevi alleviate, alleviate, Jesus, alleviate so much off your back to give you so much stress free freedom to be able to for you guys that have kids have that freedom to have more time with your kids or be able to put your kids in different activities that you may have wanted to do what you can't do or give them things that you may have wanted to be able to do what you can't give them stuff like that so to be able to do that type of stuff now is um it's, it's, a, it's just rewarding to me so i want to tell you guys when you see what your commission is don't worry it's only the beginning because there's so much more to come from it but you got to stay consistent. You got to want it. You got to also want to put your all into it and be able to get back from it what you put your all into it. Don't just give it a week and then say, ah, it ain't working for me. Next week, I'm over it. Mm. That ain't how it works. That ain't how business works. That's not how a job works. You work for two weeks before you get a paycheck. And then when you get that paycheck and that check ain't what it's supposed to be, you work two more weeks because now you want to put in even more hours to make a bigger check or Oh, don't let them forget to pay you or mess up your check. You won't work for two more weeks now to get another check that's going to be corrected. And you ain't, you might be mad, but it ain't going to stop you from going to work, right? Exactly. Exactly. We've all been there. Trust me. We've been there. Bounce checks and stuff because they messing up their, the, whatever, people messing up their accounts, whatever, whatever. But um, we have all been there. So why not work for yourself? This is a tax-free business, which means... Our money is not taxed. We get money straight commission. It's not taxed. But guess what? We can make as much as we want. And we have write-offs. I've been doing this business for years. I'm a triple diamond. It's the average income of somewhere between 9000 plus a month, right? On average. And uh, I still get an income tax check every year. Why? Because I have tax write-offs. And that's what businesses offer you. Cell phone bill written off car note on my truck every month written off i lease them on purpose so that i can get write-offs that's business that's that's smart business decisions okay um uh i have a cpa which is a certified um the tax person that's certified to do my taxes i have that person doing it and i'm able to write off so much stuff all my supplies that i purchase which is my products my website fees um Anything I purchase, anything that's dealing with this business, I go out to meals and talk about my business as a write-off. Um, I have tons, tons of stuff that you can utilize as write-offs. Any trips you go on, 
um, any, any, um, anything business related can be written off. And guess what? So would you rather work for someone and had a government take your money and then you hopefully get some of it back on your income tax check or you can get a tax free check from the, from the business, right? And then instead of that FICA or whoever them people is coming out of your money, you can utilize that money that will be taken out of your check to actually do something business related like travel or pay for your cell phone bill or pay for this bill or pay for that bill. And then all those be write offs that you get back later. Or for some of you guys that feel like that you're putting out more money that you're putting than you're putting in or your check is like maybe three to 400 right now, small stuff as it's building up and you're buying product every month, which is your auto ship of a hundred dollars plus a month. Again, guess what? Instead of paying uh, 30% or 20% taxes, you done did that already by having products. And then what, guess what happened with them products? You made cash from it because you sold some of that and put it back in your pocket. See, that's another side. That cash money, please don't, that's, that's not right off. That's money in your pocket that's under the table. And um, you got, it, it's so much from it. So you got to open your mind up and look at the bigger picture. There's a bigger picture behind this. When you got your mind open to understand that this business offers more than just financial freedom, but also the literacy of understanding how these rich people stay rich and how they get richer and how you can get over in this next tax bracket and how they're able to stay in those tax brackets and ain't paying out no money and why they're donating you know all the time and stuff like that they're donating because that's a tax write-off and it's helping them so like with your employment when you're giving the fica that's like a business person donating to a business to a um to a charity that same money that they would take out of your check a business person could donate donate that to a charity get that as a write-off on their taxes and boom, that's less money that they need to pay back. So you got to get in this business mindset and understand how this works. It's, it's way bigger than working for somebody else. Working for yourself, you have way more benefits, benefits from that. My car insurance is a write-off. My electricity is a write-off. Write-offs galore, trust me. It, when somebody actually want to sit down and ask me about all these write-offs, I got a whole accordion file of stuff. And that's how I put everything in place, accordion file of stuff. All of our orders that we do is in our website. So that's something easily you can print back off. Postage for sending off these, um, um, cat, you know, sending off stuff. The postage right off. Um, it, it's a bunch of stuff. Uh, vending events. These try it part, the try it events you go to. The money you pay for those write offs. I mean, it, it, so much is write offs. So understand, guys, it's a bigger picture here. A lot of people are in it for the money. A lot of people are in it for the knowledge. A lot of people are in it for the community. A lot of people are in it just because they want to just be a part of something. So I hope this helped you guys with understanding a little bit more. Um, let's continue to push, push, push. I'm going to attach a video below because I want, to, want you guys to be hearing from our leaders that's on our team. And um, let them give you some, some of their great knowledge because they all have some. So these next few videos for the next few days are going to be coming from our leaders. And just make sure you look, look in the description box to watch that video and give me your aha on it. All right. So um, enjoy your day. Remember the 4950 promotion is still going on. It's still half price. Canada, you guys too. It's half price for you guys to join also. So definitely take advantage of that because I know your dollar is a bit higher there. So enjoy your day, everybody. I'm just like so, so souped and ecstatic. Like when I got put on to understanding the entrepreneur mindset when I was 19, which was like 30, like 17 years ago, I was like, wow. And that's when I got started with my first network marketing event. And I spent $500 to join that company and I did nothing because I, I was excited when I joined. I went to their meeting. I seen so many people in these suits and stuff. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, they doing this. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get involved. I paid and joined. I know I nowhere in my mind had a negative thought as to anybody else not having that $500 to join with me. I just, next time, I'm, next meeting that came around, I picked up my friends and took them with me to the next one. It's like, we ain't got $500. I'm like, no? Oh, dang, ooh. Dang, maybe this ain't gonna work, you know? 
but I still use the products myself. So I tried it out for a while, but nobody else was interested in paying that money. So I gave it up. Tried again the next time around $300 to join the next one. And um, all these were health and wellness based. So I stick within my lane. Um, this health and wellness one was uh, 300 and I was putting on girdles, putting people in girdles, sort of like waist trainers, but they were slipping into them. So they, they, whole, they were stepping into them. So their whole bodies was getting in these things. Fingers was hurting because I'm trying to stuff people. You know, that's like stuffing a can of biscuits back into the box after they done bust out. You know, that was not fun. I'm stuffing people back in them. Oh, don't let it be hot outside when I'm stuffing them in. Oh, a whole mess. But um, I sold a lot of those. But the problem was that business did not have a large re um, residual. Everything I was doing was one-time based where people wouldn't have to come back and order anything else because guess what? They got their girdle, they good. And a lot of people wasn't consistent enough to stay in it for that allowed amount of months to be able to then go down a size or something like that. So I'm like, okay, this is cool. I made about 1500 my first month, but now there's no residual. For people to actually get residual and for them to get my price and be a customer, they had to spend a hundred dollars a month as a customer. That wasn't even as a distributor, that was as a customer. And another bad part about it was I had a team of like 15 people. I had a lot of people join me and they paid $300 to join. They seen my excitement, they seen what I was doing and they joined. I had tons of people joining me for $300 each. I made an $80 bonus per person. I was able to promote to um, the second level in the company within that first month or two. And the problem was with this one as to why I wasn't successful was the fact that that auto ship of a hundred dollars for just to be a customer. Like they had to spend a hundred and I think it was $165 they would pay to be a customer to get um, one of these girdles at my price. And they also have a hundred dollars and some juice. So it was like, this ain't gonna work. So I had no customers. I had all distributors on my team, all distributors. Um, and another problem was I was the only one promoting. No one else was moving. So I'm like, well, shoot. I'm doing all this work, but nobody else is seeing the benefits. Only me. I'm the only one seeing the benefits from it. So I left that alone. And then this came along. Um, I was already like, you know what? I'm over this. You know, I know what I know. I'm good at it, but I just need to find that right one. That's going to give me everything I need. And I found that with this one, the people weren't materialistic. Like the last company, everybody was so shiny and flossy and want you to spending buku money on this and this and this and put yourself further in debt that wasn't what this is about dang this video going long but i wanted to tell y'all that story um this one wasn't about that and to be able to now see the bigger picture have the best uh leadership which is what this video that um jazz is going to be going over what you guys is about the leadership was like wow and so just having the right people in your lives like how Rusty and Melody and me, how, you know, you have the right people in your lives that are actually there to help you succeed and not just um, there waiting for you to just, you know, make them a check. When the way this business is set up, you actually make a check every time we make one. So we are invested in you. And I've loved that because with this, I don't, I'm not at the top by myself. For me to be at the top, I had to have everybody else with me, either right there with me at the top well, you one level below it, but at least you right there. So this is definitely a totally different thing. And to have um, people get gratification of instant results, um, for them to be able to feel better within that first time trying something, all that excites me and keeps me pushing. For you not to be excited about this business, the only reason you're not excited is because you're not using the products or you're not engaged or you're not asking questions and speaking to us or asking questions, you know, asking questions on a daily basis. We're a very goofy team. If you have not noticed by now, we're very goofy. Um, me included. If I get enough energy in my system and you catch me around one o'clock in the afternoon when that coffee and TFX kick in, oh, I can be a pain in the butt with my goofy. If y'all ain't see my video from Sunday getting on Marie's nerves, I can be a pain with my goofy. <laughs> so, um, just understand guys, is is it's time to put those shoes on to get to work. We got a new product that's coming out today. Be ready. And um ugh, it's going to sell out, okay? So just be ready to order it cuz I know I'm ready. I got my I got my fingers ready. So I, I'm going to have my phone on alert 
So somebody can, I'm going to have a designated person to call me as soon as it go on sale. So if I'm not awake, I'll make sure I catch it. So enjoy your day, guys. I hope you also make sure you watch the video that will be in the description box from Jazz. And give me an aha about it. I'm so excited and pumped for this month. We got so many newbies that started and so many people that's just moving. And I'm cheering you on. Trust me. I'm pushing you. Don't worry. I'm pushing you. Okay. I know your potential. I know what you're capable of. And I'm pushing you. So just understand this push is out of love. And I'm tough love at that. Because it can't be all mushy mushy. Like, oh, go ahead and get your customers. Mushy, mushy. You know, I got to get tough on you. got to remind you as to why you're doing it. Why did you join this business? We ain't wasting no money. We want you to make money. All right? Enjoy your day, guys. Talk to you later.